Hi everyone, it's Amy from Nifty Stitch on Flosstube and on Instagram. It has been a while <laughs> and I apologise for that. Um, life's got in the way, been very busy, packing hospital bags, decorating the nursery, um, you know, all good things. Um, the last video that I did was mid-June um, for like a progress video, so there is a lot to catch up on. <laughs> um, I'm going to be showing the project that you'll have seen some of the progress in like the mid-year whip parade but um obviously I wanted to sort of unroll from progress to progress as well as whip parade to whip parade kind of thing um if that makes sense so I have about 12 or 13 projects to show but obviously some of them you'll have seen a little bit of some of them you won't have seen um I've been doing jelly july hence why we're feeling festive um I've also had uh my one year floss tube anniversary, floss anniversary, floss tube anniversary. <laughs> I don't know what, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, I had that um, mid July. So um, I did plan on having some videos for that. Hopefully, I'll be able to bring some out soon. Um, it's just finding time to film. Um, so yeah, I apologise for that, but they will be coming at some point. I'm thinking like stash parades and like tracker videos and all sorts of exciting things like that. So, um, yeah, I just want to say thank you to everybody who has supported me over the last year. It's really appreciative. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's just get out of the stitching because there is a lot. <laughs> I'm going to be looking down at my notes as well, make sure I've got everything right and I've remembered them all. Um, so yeah, let's go. The first project I have to show is my mini Catch a Falling Star. Now this is Heaven and Earth Designs, artwork by Julie Finn, and it is on a 25 count Lugana 1 over 1 full cross. Now I put in 3,027 stitches and I got a page finish. Excuse the park threads as well, by the way. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I've got page finish. Yay! You can sort of see that the colours. There's about three or four colours. When I hold it back like this, it literally just goes like dark. Um, but there's like the odd little, you can see little star and things like that in it. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with how it's turned out. I did try and do the Royal Rose method and it worked really well with this one. Um, I was really happy with it. Um, I think with it only having like three or four colours in, it went really fast and it was so easy to stitch in that way rather than like the way obviously you can see the way I sort of used used to stitch on it was like um doing rows of the colours um but I was either falling asleep <laughs> or I was getting bored of it quickly because when you haven't to count like 20 and 30 odd stitches and make sure you've done it right every time it gets a bit repetitive even with pattern keeper um so yeah I was a little bit a little bit deflated with it, a little bit struggling, you know. Um, but doing that Royal Rose method got me a page finish and I'm really happy with it. Um, it's one of them things where obviously I've been doing these as like a focus, so my big project I have had as like a focus for like the month. So this one was for the month of June um, and we'll get to July's in a minute. <laughs> Don't get too excited. It's <laughs> not as many as what I've been putting in these ones. Um, but yeah, so for May, I had my lover's piece. Then June, I decided to pick up my mini catch falling star. And then for July, spoiler alert, Christmas tree farm. Because why not? Um, it's the oldest heaven and earth designs that I have. It deserves some love. Um, I am going to be zipping these back up. I did unzip them to start with because, you know, I am slightly considerate, but we need to put them back in the bag and zip them up because I will lose everything <laughs> if I don't. Um, but yeah, so that one was for June. Um, and it's nice to be able to just pick a big project and work on it whenever I want to in that month. Um, the only issue I have is I get a little bit carried away. And I was really enjoying that one. So then when I got to like the 30th of June, I was like, I need to stitch on it as much as possible because I'm not going to be able to stitch on it again for a while. Um, obviously, there's no point in re-pulling out old like big projects for a new month 
safe I decided oh well I'm going to work on um like my mini catch fall and stuff like three months in a row all the other ones are getting neglected so <laughs> it doesn't really work so I was thinking as long as I do one big project that's different a month and then well that's it if I have I mean we haven't got that much long left of the year and I have a lot of big projects so I'm not going to be able to recycle the old ones <laughs> put it that way um but yeah if I did have that choice then obviously I would be able to go back to them. And I can stitch on it whenever I want to. I can just pull that out mid-month if I fancied. Um, but obviously it is nice to have that bit of like structure with a big project so that at least all of them are getting some love or the majority of them because they deserve it. They really do. Okay, the next project is my Princess and the Frog by Velvet Line on Etsy and this one got in a total of 876 stitches and this is on actually I actually have it's 28 count Brittany Lugana Eden Weave one over one full class I have my other book down here because I didn't actually know some of the Christmas stats um so yeah we'll get to that later but yeah so this is had 876 stitches in since the last time that you saw it so i've worked quite a lot with this darker color and um, there are about three colors in this as you can see by all of the part threads so what was that <laughs> interesting anyway um yeah there's about three or four colors and you can see by all the part threads excuse me um but yeah i did start with this lovely blues and i thought oh yeah there's a looking really nice and then we went straight to the dark colours for the tree <laughs> I feel like I just gravitate towards the darker colours in a project I don't know why I don't know if it's because every time I start a project all of the colours are in the left hand corner are dark colours I'm not sure where for <laughs> yeah so okay. that's that project next we have which is oh, all of my pictures are like getting squashed uh the encanto house <laughs> basically um this is a pattern by turn on the bright by by etsy on etsy um and this one got 789 stitches now if i remember rightly and i do because there's a big mess on the front <laughs> so, yeah. um i was also i'm gonna try and hide some of these because that's just disgraceful <laughs> the amount of part threads um and it's literally just like a ball of thread there we go so i had started as you can see working in rows i got a bit fed up started doing the royal rows um but yeah um these, this one and the princess and the frog both came out into circulation and another massive project like this is literally like it's like a tablecloth <laughs> or a bed sheet for like a queen size bed it's massive and it's 28 count one over one full cross as well i need to do something with this i apologize it's dreadful we're gonna put it down <laughs> oh dear so um Encanto and Princess and the Frog both came into circulation even though they're massive project um but they came into circulation for a couple of days in June because when I got towards the end of June and I was going to film my like mid-year whip braid I wanted to show all the progress from January to June and I'd worked on Princess and the Frog and put in 110 stitches in January and then I'd put 86 stitches in Encanto in February and I thought I cannot show that little of progress because you literally won't be able to see it especially on this small of a fabric <laughs> so obviously I brought them back out um just to you know put a bit extra in and be like I actually have a stitch done this <laughs> and it's not just like not even 100 stitches um so yeah that's why they came out of circulation i was trying to think when i was getting all of my projects together to film 
I was thinking, why have I, why have I brought these ones for? Why did I work on these? Because, <laughs> you know, baby brain. It's just... It's a real thing. I always thought, you know, people just use it as an excuse. It's a real thing. <laughs> uh, next is... Hang on, I'm losing the project under the drawers. There we go. Um, the well-loved Fruits and Veggies by Dimensions. Artwork is by Heather Roses. Roses? Not sure. Um, but I've been working in a lot in this area. Um, so far, so good. We are keeping to the... I can zip that on actually because it's in the queue snap. We are keeping to the five a day Friday hashtag pretty well. Flacked a little bit last week because I was busy on the Friday. I forgot. <laughs> as you do um and then on the saturday the sunday and the monday i worked on it and got up to date with the bit that i needed so here's where we're up to now so since the last time that you saw it i've worked literally done these four so the yam the onion strawberry and i'm not even sure what these are but if anybody has an, an idea of what they are, please let me know. I just don't have a clue. <laughs> Stitching the thing, I don't know. Um, there's a bit of fluff on it, apologies. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed it. Um, I can't wait. I think this week, because it's Thursday today when I'm filming this, um, and I'll probably upload it today. So tomorrow, we're going to do peas. Peas are going to be the next thing that we work on. So I am really excited to do them. <laughs> It's just something about little peas in a pod with a smiley face just makes me happy. Why not? <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I feel like I'm getting slightly better with the French knots. Maybe not all of them, <laughs> but most of them I am. Um, so yeah, we're, we're doing well. I'm enjoying it. Um, and Five Day Friday is the hashtag that me, Rosie X Stitches and Tally Cross Stitch. Don't think anybody else is doing it yet. And Ollie is Crafty Corner, Stitch Corner. Brent's turned to mush. She's gonna get it and start it at some point. I'll probably still be working on it because who knows what's gonna happen when baby Stitch is here. <laughs> Plans, boom, gone um yeah so i've worked on that that's on a 14 count it's all with the kit ada and the kit fabric um just because if you buy a kit why not just use it <laughs> enough said um next is my princess silhouette series and i'm working on cinderella so these are by All My Stitches Shop and they weren't available, but now they are available. Um, so they're on, they're not on Etsy, but they're on a shop. She's got a website. So if you go through Instagram and have a look on there, you'll find her. So that's exciting. So since the last time that you saw it in the progress update, I have put in... 1,820 stitches, so we're up to 32% now. Um, and as you can see, we've got Cinderella's head in the black with it. That's her sleeves and her arm coming up like. <laughs> um, and then you've got Cinderella's head. There's a body with an arm, and that's a dress. This part here that obviously I haven't stitched yet is going to be the black outline of Cinderella's dress. And then here's Prince Charming's head that I've started filling in. So yeah, I'm really enjoying this one. I'm gonna have to get it back out soon because I really enjoy working on it. Um, this is the top of the piece as well. And we're getting close to the bottom. They aren't very big. It's on 25 count Lugana, um, one over one full cross. And all of the Princess Silhouette series pieces are gonna be on these. Uh, this fabric so i'm really enjoying it i love the colors because blue is my favorite color 
and it's all blues because it's Cinderella. I just love it. It's it's amazing. The only thing that I'm struggling with with this one is the fact that you can't really see it on camera, but in person when you stitch in this really pale like lavendery blue sort of colour, that against the squared fabric just it's an eye damager. <laughs> put it that way. Um, it's not the best but we persevere because we want to. <laughs> so yeah I'm really enjoying it. I really like it. I can't wait to stitch on it some more. Um, I love it. Oh, it's so exciting. And considering I haven't really put a great deal in it as such says that and it's done nearly 2,000 stitches in like a month and a half. I haven't even picked it up in um, July so them stitches alone were just from June. Um, so yeah we're, we're doing well. We're, we're doing well. We're doing okay. <laughs> we're still okay. Um, I do want to try and get that one finished before the end of the year so that I can start Sleeping Beauty maybe as the new year new start. We shall see, but obviously I can't start the next, obviously with that series, I can't start the next one until I've finished this one. So I couldn't start Cinderella until I'd finished Snow White. Finished Snow White and literally a day later because I finished it on the night. A day later I start Cinderella. Um, obviously I can't do that this year because no new starts apart from this next one. <laughs> but that's an exception. Um, but... I am thinking if I can finish it either really late in the year or push to get it finished and then sit and wait until the first then we're all good if not who knows <laughs> anyway next project is my Winnie the Pooh bird sampler for baby stitch and this is by ATV Brands Still not sure. I think it's 14 count what it's on. Possibly 16. I'm not sure. Um, but this needs some serious love because I did want to get it finished before he was here. He's due next week. <laughs> um, and here's the progress. <laughs> so I've um obviously you can tell by the part thread, I've been working on Tigger. I have worked on Winnie the Pooh. And I've put in the back stitch. So that's majority of Winnie the Pooh basically finished. Um, I am quite enjoying this. It's a little bit hard having a colour pattern and trying to highlight off a coloured pattern and then work through the back stitch on a coloured pattern it is really hard. I'm struggling, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I haven't really picked this up in July, so this is all just June's progress. Um, but Obviously, I really need to get it back out <laughs> soon, like really soon. Oh, that's also, that's Piglet's hand, that little bit up there. But yeah, I'm really enjoying how this is turning out. It's adorable. I love it. Um, there wasn't any backstitching around his eyes, I don't think, so I've put backstitching around him. It looks really cute. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying it. It's a pain. It's like very much a love-hate relationship, hence why I haven't picked it back up. But I know if I take it out of the Q-snap, I won't want to work on it again. So I'm leaving it in the Q-snap in the hopes that I can persevere and keep going with it. So we shall see. We shall see. Um, but yeah, we're getting there with it slowly. <laughs> right, so the last but not least, because we have festivities next. <laughs> this is the last non-festive so if you're not feeling Christmassy you will after this one <laughs> uh, this is pancakes by Stratrovia on Etsy and I'm working in like the top part here uh, this is on an 18 count white Ada 2 over 1 full cross if I can get the picture back in the bag so I can show you the project so, still haven't been able to put this in a pattern keeper, unfortunately. Let me just move this um, 
I need a minder so we can actually see what it looks like. Um, yet again, Amy and Park threads. My love of a park thread. It's just so I don't lose my needle because 99% of the time I will. Also, I need to unfold it so you can actually see the whole thing. That would be a good start. So. Here's where we're at now. So I have worked on filling in the pancake sign. I think I haven't done the border yet, but I'm going to start on the border. And I've gone around to doing the delicious part of the pan. So I love the colours in this as well. Obviously the blues. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying this one. It's quite a nice stitch. It would be even better if it were going to Pattern Keeper, but me and technology do not work at all. <laughs> so trying to get this on a Pattern Keeper is a hard work for me. I have no idea what I'm doing. With the Christmas pudding one, it worked straight away after I had a little bit of a tinker around with it. This one, doesn't matter what I do. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but it's just, it doesn't want to go on. Um, so we're, we're a paper copy this time, but never mind. So yeah, I'm really enjoying this. This colour blue is beautiful. It looks a little bit darker than what it does in person. But yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I love it. Um, technically, it's not a festive stitch, but it is a festive gift because it is for Andrew's granny for Christmas as a Christmas present. It's just become a tradition for me to stitch these things <laughs> for her. Um, she does her own stitching, where she used to. Um, but I don't think she's actually done any stitching for a while now. I'll have to ask her next time I see her. But yeah, um, that's that pretty much. Now we have the festive stitching because it's Jolly July. Um, I am going to carry on with Jolly July for the next few days because it is the 27th of July currently so I have a few days left to enjoy being festive <laughs> before all the festive things go away again until December because you know why not <laughs> um, so the first festive Christmassy seasonal <laughs> don't know what what even is this anyway um the first project that was festive that i worked on there we go we're professional we're professional on nifty stitch here is um let it snow now this is by my lovely embroidery on etsy and i love it i also realized that i got let me just have a look at this so it's a 25 count medium blue lugana evenweave I thought it was 28 count when I picked it back up to work on it because it was so small. <laughs> um, I've had a, a few, I wouldn't really say issues. I would say more on my part because it's navy Ada and I've gone for a medium blue Ada. Now you, you can sort of, sort of tell the difference. Um, so me being me hasn't thought because baby brain. And then when I've stitched you can sort of see the difference um, but there's like a colour in here you can't really see so the hat oh yeah you can see if I tilt it like that but that's because um, obviously the fabric should be darker than what it actually is because I just thought oh I'll go 25 count why not um, and then didn't think navy I went medium blue <laughs> so it's not bad on their part, it's bad on my part because at the end of the day, I should have thought about this <laughs> before I did it, but I'm still happy with how it looks. Oh, apart from these bits of, you know, we're not gonna, we're, we're not gonna look at those parts. <laughs> I really need to search all the edges on my like newer project, but because the loft is a mess and the sewing machine is up the loft, this is not happening yet. <laughs> so yeah. I'm really enjoying it. I love it. I've put in... Let me see, where are we now? 
uh, let's not, 2,321 stitches, which is a lot for me. And it was only in a few days as well, to be honest. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, I just sort of picked one colour and ran with it until it was finished. Um, hence why you can see there's like all the, the oranges are done, the purpley pinks are done. Oh. Um, the let it snow is sort of finished. It just needs that like the white snow on the top. I don't know if you can see, there we go. Um, and obviously the white part in the face and in the body, obviously I've started it, but there is also um, like the top of the writing, underneath the writing, the snowflakes. I've made a start on the snowflakes, there's one. <laughs> um, but yeah, they are all to do and then it is pretty much finished. Um, I don't think there's any back stitching on this. No. There's no back stitching on it either. So it's pretty much nearly finished. <laughs> so I'm quite happy with how it's turned out. Um, like I say, I'm a little bit sad about the colour of the fabric, but that was my fault on my part for not thinking and just running with it, why not? Um, but I really like it. It's really cute. I love the design. Um, the pattern is so easy to follow. I love it. And it goes on Pattern Keeper, so win-win all round. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to pull it back out again in the last like few days for obviously um, Jolly July. But looking at it now, I wasn't going to, but looking at it now, I am kind of thinking maybe I should. <laughs> um, because when I started it, because I started it, hang on, the 27th of December. <laughs> Um, the 27th of December last year is when I started it so it was really towards the end of the year I just wanted it so I had it as a no new start obviously for this year um, and I put 10 stitches in it now obviously if I can find the photo I'll put it in um, of like where I was like the last time that you saw it but 10 stitches was nothing so I've gone from like having nothing in it to basically nearly finishing it in the space of a few days. I really enjoyed working on it. It just goes to show. <laughs> um, so I am quite tempted to get that one back out and work on it in the last few days of Joy July. Um, next, we have an actual finish. How exciting! Now, if I find my progressy trackery doodads, hang on. Because I want to get this right, because obviously we're a finish, we're not going to see him again. Oh, here we go. So, these are, well, it's the snowman. I'm going to hold them up and I'm going to tell you about them while I've got hold of them, because, you know, that's what you do on a floss tube in. <laughs> so this is the snowman. Um, there are four of these. Sorry about the frayed bits. We're having a very frayed day. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is a snowman. There are four of these. So there's like a snowman like this one. There is a snowman that has um, like snow falling in the sky. There is a snow dog, which is the same as this with like just a blue sky and a snow dog with the snow falling in the sky as well. Obviously, the like close ups and far away. I have all four. Um, I have actually started the snow dog one last year. Um, started the snow dog 27th of November. Um, because I knew I would hopefully be finishing that one soon and obviously I never finished it. I worked on this once and finished it. Now to me, <laughs> I'll tell you the stats in a second because to me this just makes me laugh. So this is a project that I started the 31st of July 2023. Okay, it is tiny. It is about three by three inches I think they are. Yeah. They're 3.6 by 3.6 inches. They're tiny. You can tell. I mean, it makes my head look massive if I say by the size of my head. <laughs> but yeah, they're really small. Um, I'm flopping. Oh, don't look at the back. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're really small. Um, and I started it and I thought, yeah, it's going to be started to finish in the year. Then I can start the next one. 
um, because obviously I wanted to sort of kind of do the same thing as like the Princess Silhouette series, start one, finish one kind of thing and work through it there like that. Um, but when I realised I, was, I wasn't going to finish this one, um, I started the snow jog just in case. Um, I worked on this once and finished it. Now, this is what makes me laugh is the fact that I could have finished this last year because it is so small. But I didn't because I don't even know why. <laughs> I don't even know why. Um, but they're really cute and I love the snowman. It was one of the first films that traumatised me as a child. I remember watching it in nursery and then crying my eyes out when the snowman melted because where has he gone? <laughs> that just shows what I'm like. <laughs> uh, but yeah, these are all on a 14 count. Sparkly ear dirt, two over one, full cross. I'm just gonna hold it up close so you can see. But yeah, we had a little bit of issue with the top half, with the hat and the sky. Amy can't count and I made a mistake, but it's okay, we fixed it. <laughs> um, all of the sky and most of this part down here is actually just one over one full cross. If you can see, the sky's a little bit more see-through than the rest of them. Um, so yeah, and I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but the kits by DMC, and I really like them. Um, yeah, all of the all of the background is one over one. You can see it when you hold it in the dark. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really happy with that. Hang on, you will see it again. You'll see it at the end of year with bread. Never mind. <laughs> Let me let me let me show you it really close. Well, for progress updates, you'll never see it again. But you'll see it in the end of the year whip and then it's gone. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Next we have if I can find the picture. Here we go. Ho 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 ornament is by Dimensions. Artwork is by Daphne B. I don't know what her last name is. Just B. Daphne B. Um, I really like this and it was, I think it was, hang on. The rest of it is in here. I don't think it's got the price up, no. I really liked how you could finish it off. This sort of like cushion kind of-esque with the, I don't know what this, this bit is. Um, A hanger a hook I don't, I don't really know I really just liked how it was gonna sort of be able to hang you can hang it somewhere there we go words are hard <laughs> wow um but anyway I decided to pull this one out because it hadn't had a great deal of love and I thought Do you know what you may as well because it's jolly July I'm going to put this behind so you can see. There's a path thread in it. I apologise. Here's where we're up to with it now. So here's another one that we could potentially finish before the next video. <laughs> um, but I really enjoyed it. So the way that I have been working this is because it's a dimensions kit, you don't want to see the state of the cottons inside or the threads inside of the bag you just don't uh, <laughs> but the um the way i've been working it is sort of choosing one color color complete in it um so i finished off the rest of the baubles um and then i thought oh these little um like the hangers for the baubles uh they need doing next so i did those then i started on the border and work my way around and obviously I'm still working my way around the border but we are nearly there I was going to do half because I've just been doing it in my little um six by six Q snap so I was going to work just and like completely finish this whole section um and then do the other side but I had that many like pieces of thread that were left over that were like this long and obviously I'm not going to get rid of them um when I've still got the other half of the project to do so um Obviously, I've started with a darker 
brown, I'm going to work my way around. Um, but you can sort of see uh, how big it's going to be. Um, hang on, I don't know if I'll hold this. Um, 14 by 5 centimetres, which is five and a half, sorry, five and three quarters by two and a quarter inches. Maths. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm really enjoying how it's looking. I don't know if I'll be able to finish it in the way that it says, but obviously it comes with everything because it is a kit. Um, but we shall see because I do really want to have it as a finish that's like to hang. I might have to ask for the assistance of my dad to help me finish it because I'm no good. No good at all. Um, it's in my little rest and stitch face bag. Look at the glitter. Woo. Handmade by me. <laughs> I just, I really wanted some smaller project bags and decided I was going to make my own. Why not? Um, next, we have my focus piece for July that has been heavily neglected but it is my Christmas tree farm piece by Heaven and Earth Designs artwork by Donna Gelsinger and this is stitched one over one full cross on 25 pound Uganda and I'm very happy to report I can just lift this back up I didn't want to didn't want to go back in the bag there we go. I'm very happy to report that I have got a part thread. No, <laughs> there is a part thread. This one is slightly messy. There is threads and bits of stuff hanging all over the place. Um, but we have a page finish. Yay! Now, last year, I was incredibly close to a page finish on this. Um, but I just didn't quite make it in time before it was the new year. So now we have the page finished, yay! I've put in 550 stitches, we're on 3%. Yay, I'm very excited. I'm just need to rearrange how I'm sitting because I'm sat on the floor, not a good idea. Um, yeah, sorry, this is a mess, but this is how we've been stitching on it. There is an awful lot of fabric. <laughs> when, when you do this, it's like, it is and then you go oh oh no <laughs> it's so big <sighs> ah, anyway whoa <laughs> go rogue go rogue right so yeah um what is that what was i up to oh yeah so three percent so i'm quite happy with it i think it's like 3.11 percent now um but we have a page finish so that's two page finishes on heaven and earth well a page finish on one, a page finish on another, should I say. I have an earth design pattern, which is amazing. I'm so happy with myself. I never thought I would be saying I've got a page finish on a heaven and earth designs ever. I just thought I was just never going to finish one. <laughs> um, and a page finish means you're closer to the end. So I'm really happy. I'm really happy with how it's turned out. Um, it's been quite nice just to sort of pick a bit of, you know, pick a colour and go with it. Um... I was getting a little bit sad in the sky because it was all pale coloured and then we got to the dark trees and you could start to see the trees coming in and the clouds and everything. It's just so exciting when you can actually see, like when you're this close to it stitching you can't see anything. As soon as you pull it back you can see all them clouds in the sky and all the trees starting to come in and it is so exciting. I can't wait. I think this next page down here will probably be the next page finish that I get. Um, because I am sort of half away, I would say, from from the eye. <laughs> I would say I'm kind of halfway through um, finishing the second page. Um, this page along will probably be the one I do afterwards, just because I wanted a break from the sky. I've this has been the oldest Heaven and Earth Designs project that I have. Right. Um, let's just. I think it was. August 2020 yeah the 7th of August 2020 was when I started this and 
it hasn't had as much love as what I would have liked to put it that way. Um, over time, I think, you know, these things, you know, all of a sudden it, I went from having just sky constantly to, oh look, now I've got some trees and now I've got more trees and I've got a page finish. And I think it's really exciting to see it go from like not to 100. <laughs> um, obviously, I just had loads of like blue colours and purples and things and then all of a sudden I had some trees. Um, and I do think sometimes I struggle with having a design pattern just because of like, well, just big patterns in general, just because you can't really see the progress. And then all of a sudden, like you take a step back and it's like, wow, the detail in them is amazing and I love it. Um, so yeah, obviously with this being my focus for July, I'm going to work on it some more because only putting in 550 stitches yeah I've got a page finish which is great but it's only had 550 stitches in for the whole year and I've only worked on it twice in July so um when lovers and a mini catch of all and star both got a lot of progress um in about like I would say maybe five or six times that I worked on it um so Obviously, this is still in the queue snap because I'm working on it. Um, so hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get some more done. Um, so yeah, you will be seeing some of these again in the next floss tube video progress video that I do. I hope it's a bit more than this, <laughs> but 550 is better than none. You know, that's what we have to think here. 550 is better than none. Okay. Last but certainly not least is my Woodland Folk Winter Wonderland piece by DMC, the kit by DMC. And this is on, it's a good job I brought this book today, 14 count white edit, 2 over 1 full cross. So here's where we're up to now. So I have finished. Birch Badger. The only issue that I have with this is I have previously done Woodland Fork pieces and I did a Birch Badger with roses, with a rose, sorry, and a Toby Fox with roses. So they had a bunch of roses. Um, I, back in the day, I used to just stitch and leave the back stitch for Future Amy's problem and Future Amy didn't exist back then um so i would just have these projects sitting about for years and years and years borderline finished they just needed the back stitch and doing and then they were done but i don't do a back stitch especially on a whole project so that's why you back stitch as you go kids <laughs> um but with this one i thought there was no way i am leaving this to last the back stitch no chance because it is a big piece there is a lot of backstitching, there is a lot of characters, there's a lot, <laughs> okay? My only issue is I can't bring myself to backstitch until I've done like the rest of round the outside of Burt Badger to then backstitch Burt Badger, okay? So you can see the issue that I have. So what I've done is... I have, I'll bring it closer so you can see. So I've stitched all of Bert. I've started on the ground. So there's just a little bit more white underneath that needs to be done. And I've done this little bit over here because I just thought I'll carry on the thread, why not? Um, then I have started Sally Squirrel because the best way I'm gonna do this, and I'll hold up the picture so you can see. So the way I'm gonna do this, is all of that badge is done all of underneath them is done i'm going to do this little bit of the tree around here or this is my thought process so i was going to do the bit of the tree or if i do sally squirrel because all of this here is just white fabric so if i do sally squirrel and then do a little bit just above sally then i can back stitch from sally onwards that way 
amazing um so that is the plan get my stitching bag <laughs> so we are going to stitch sally hence why we've started her we've got a tummy that's the start of the tail coming in there um we're going to work on this some more today as well because it is still early it is only quarter to 12 so we're going to work on this today um work on sally then start a back stitch because i just i can't leave it until the end um i just can't bring myself to leave it till the end at all <laughs> i know from previous experiences don't do that never ever ever leave the back stitching until the last thing because you don't want to do it um but it's it's making me happy but also sad that bert is finished but he's not fully finished because he needs back stitching and i can't back stitch him <laughs> so yeah i'm really really enjoying this one it's one of them things where i really want to work on it but then i just think like why would i want to work on it in like easter time when it's christmas christmas wasn't that long ago but then july when it's jolly july oh, i'll work on them all day long <laughs> um but yeah i'm really enjoying it i love it i can't wait to get some more done and hopefully get some back stitching done before obviously it's the end of july we have a few days let's see what we could do <laughs> so excited um but yeah that is all of my projects that i've worked on for mid-june to basically july um obviously the last few days of july i'll show you the progress of that in the next video uh, i'm not too sure when that video will be um considering baby stitches due literally in a week um that's if he waits that's if he actually wants to come on time <laughs> who knows um so yeah um so sort of like plans i haven't really got anything set in stone but i want to obviously carry on with jolly july um i need to work on the winnie the pooh bird sampler desperately because i really want to try and get it either semi-finished or finished before he's here so i can just put his name and the date and things on um but other than that that's pretty much it um i'm thinking depending on how much time i have to stitch and things like that it might end up being a video a month i think it kind of works better having a lot of project projects to show or i just think sometimes a little amount of like say three projects but loads of progress i don't know if that would really be me um especially since at the minute i'm just sort of flitting from one thing to the next constantly i feel like I would struggle to like put a lot of progress into one thing apart from obviously a big project each month um because they're getting well apart from this month <laughs> for the last couple of months they've been getting you know the most progress um and it is nice to see on the stats having like nothing 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 eight thousand and something stitches <laughs> so i'm really really happy with how that's gone because obviously if i work on one thing like that for a month then when obviously it gets to the end of the year it'll look like i've got loads of progress and i've only actually worked on it for that one month so it's great um but obviously it just sort of depends on how much time i'm gonna have andrew keeps saying you'll have as much time as you make for yourself which is all good and well but i don't know how tired i'm gonna be <laughs> that's my only issue i do not do well on sleep like limited sleep um the last few weeks have been tough because i've been struggling to sleep um so doing anything the next day is just like a no-go and then when you're trying to have to like socialize with friends and things like that it is just no <laughs> stitching stitching who um <laughs> so the only other thing that i have as well i said i wasn't going to do it but then i was looking this morning and i've kind of maybe possibly changed my mind <laughs> me and i like to set myself a challenge and when i was having a look i'm just getting it up on my phone so i can see it so my whip go board okay i'll put a picture in of what it looks like um and what it currently looks like so 
the boxes that have the line round are the numbers that have been called but I haven't finished. The ones that are pale pink are the ones that are finished and the ones that are darker pink are the ones that haven't been called but I've finished them anyway. Um, so what I decided was obviously January, I wouldn't really say the beginning of February but like maybe like January just as a whole. I like solidly stitch because when you start a new well when you may and you start the new year you get so excited that you have all of these amazing things to stitch on and goals left right and center and obviously new whip go and you have your two projects that you can work on and it's exciting but then at the same time I can't stick to goals <laughs> I have found out this trying well I tried last year and I did every whip go goal I got like loads of bingos apart from I didn't do two squares and I was a little bit sad that I didn't get the full board but for the first ever time that I did whip go that was amazing to me like I basically done it you know um, and I was really happy with it and I was motivated for this year then obviously energy levels weren't there <laughs> so stitching progress just so it just didn't really work. Um, I did some stitching because I think in January one of my whip go calls was my Hogwarts floral piece. Um, and I upped the ante on it and I did like two, instead of last year I did a thousand stitches or work on it for five days. This year I'm doing two thousand stitches or ten days um, or like ten times or whatever. Um, so... I already basically set myself up to fail because I kind of struggled to do a thousand or five days last time. Um, but I just kind of told myself at the end of the day, it's not really going to happen because you don't have time. Um, so I just forgot about it. I wasn't going to do with go. I wasn't going to work on it. Um, I still had the board there in the background and then every time that I saw the post with he's the numbers I was like oh let's have a look and see what it is this month um and some of them I was like well I've already finished that one and, and then I started marking them off and then I realized that like I've actually done some of these um and I just hadn't realized um but obviously some of them like my moonlit cabin piece I really wanted that on the board last year but this year I haven't touched it I don't think I will work on it this year um I'm not gonna hold my breath but you know you never know what's gonna happen um but at the minute I'm not feeling it at all um I don't know what it is about it but I do want to finish it at some point it's not gonna get UFO'd but I don't know um I don't know why I put it on the board I don't know if it was because I wanted to see it finished and obviously working on it for 10 days or 10 times I could have finished it um it's the same with like the snowman you know I worked on it once and it was finished so I don't know now that I have a bit more time if I worked on it a little bit more I'd be able to get it finished I'm not sure um but yeah we'll just have to see what happens but up to now I'm not necessarily working on it but I am kind of working on it um so some of them for example let's see let us be friends for example right i've worked on it for about three days three to five days and that's half of my whip go goal so if i just work on it five more times that's that goal finished um and obviously there's no pressure to do it but the goal is there if i want it and i think that's the kind of mindset that i need to go forwards with is obviously I want to try and work on every project so that everything gets some love at some point even if it's just working on something once um because like the snowman worked out once and now it's finished so you know it is doable for some things um but you know like um I've got on there like my bat silhouette um and obviously with it being a spooky thing it'll come out in spooky stitching time um but it all just sort of depends on time, motivation, energy. <laughs> um, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. But up to now, I'm not going to solely look at my board and think, oh, well, you know, 
I've got so far um, in Hogwarts floral, I need to put in 2,000 stitches to get this goal on my whip go board, but I've only put in 650. Um, so if I work on it some more, I could get that goal. I don't have to work on it, but if I want to, it's there. Um, and I think that's what I like about it at the minute is I'm not pressuring myself or like, you know, forcing myself into doing any goals that I don't want to. But at the same time, there are goals there if I want to follow some sort of a goal. Um, I have enjoyed doing um, my one big project a month. It's been a little bit harder this month, but I think it's just because with it being Jolly July, there are so many um, like festive Christmassy projects that I have that I wanted to work on. Um, some of them obviously still haven't been worked on. Obviously I've got like my cozy winter evening, but I could also, you know, pick that up in December and do that for my um, big project in December because obviously Christmas tree farm is being done for July. Um, but I do think, you know, like there was that many <laughs> Christmas things and I hadn't realised how many I had. Um, and then obviously there was the brand new, well I say brand new, the 10 stitches in um, Let It Snow piece that obviously it was pretty much new so I was like oh well I may as well put some stitching in this one so it's got some progress better than here's what it looked like 10 stitches here's what it looks like at the end of the year 10 stitches um I think at the end of the year I will do like a full whip parade as well um and obviously this year for the mid-year one I only showed like 16 projects that I had worked on in that in like the year so far but for it being the end of year you need to see all of them again really don't you um so even if some of them haven't had any progress i probably will still show them and um, that's why i want to try and maybe aim to get at least like a day or one time um stitching on them and see where we go so yeah that is everything pretty much so if you stuck around for this long you know nearly nearly an hour um so if you stuck around for this long, thank you for watching. Thanks for sticking around. Um, hopefully, see you soon. Don't want to hold myself to anything. It would be nice to keep going every like two weeks, but like life's getting busier and I don't really know. I don't want to say I'll see you in a couple of weeks and then turn up in a month's time and be like, sorry, every time. <laughs> Um, so I'll see you at some point in the future. That's what we'll stick with. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, all those youtube -y things. And hopefully I shall see you soon with another video. <laughs> Until then, bye.